I've come to the conclusion that I'm doing too much with my hair. And the reason why I'm doing too much with my hair is because of social media. Hey guys, welcome back to Breezy's Puffs. It's like eight in the morning and I'm really tired, but today's gonna be a full wash day in style. And while I am preparing my hair for shampooing, I'm gonna basically be talking to you guys about where my hair is right now and where my mind is right now about my hair um, and about social media. All right, so because my hair is loose, it's not in any twists right now, I'm gonna be using Miracle Moisture pre-shampoo. I absolutely love this stuff because it really helps detangle the hair and it's just a great way to prep your hair before shampooing. So this is my hair right now. I had it mini twists for about four weeks. If you follow me on Instagram and you actually pay attention to my stuff, then you probably know that already. But yeah, I took out my mini twists two days ago for a, a photo shoot and to I actually celebrated my birthday this past weekend. It's not my, it wasn't my birthday this weekend, but I celebrated it this weekend um, because I work on my actual birthday. So I was basically rocking a twist out for the last two days, but I don't want to keep my hair out because I have to go back to work. And if you don't know, I'm in the military and yeah, twists are just the easiest way to keep my hair right now because I'm in the military. And to caveat, mentally I've been in a place where I feel like my hair isn't growing like it should be. And I think that, I mean, not that it's not growing, but it's not retaining length like it should be. And I think, well, I pretty much know that is due to over manipulation, over styling, and just doing, basically over styling, like doing too much with my hair. And I know that that's the truth because my hair grew so much and retained so much length last year when I was going through basic training and tech school for the Air Force and my hair was basically in a protective style like 90% of the time and my hair retained so much length and it was even longer than it was now. So I've come to the conclusion that I'm doing too much with my hair and the reason why I'm doing too much with my hair is because of social media. I don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then go follow me on Instagram by the way. But, <laughs> I, this past summer, I've really been going hard, like spring into summer, I've really been going hard on making Instagram reels. And because of that, I basically like blew up for a little bit. Like one of my reels got over 4 million views. It was just a little transition reel, but my hair, you know, my, my natural hair out and all that. And yeah, it was a hit. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was a hit. People loved it. I started making styling videos like with my steamrollers. People loved that on uh, TikTok and all that. And I was just like, oh, people love hairstyles. They love styling videos. They love how to see like how to style their natural hair. And at the time, um, I was basically styling my hair every week, which is like pretty normal. Styling my hair every week, but then I would have to restyle it for so like I would style it on the days that I was off and then I'd have to restyle it for when I go back onto base, like putting it in braids or twists or something so that I could put it back into a ponytail so that I could be at regulations for the military. So it's basically styling my hair like two times a week, which in my case for my hair, what I'm starting to learn is too much. Like styling once a week is fine, but even if I can get it down to like once every like two to four weeks, if I could get it down to that, that'd be ideal. I know some people are probably like, that's too much, but that's how my hair like thrives. And a lot of the people that like have long, like my type, like thick type four hair, they are consistently having their hair in like twists or braids. Like I'm gonna put some examples in this video. Like indigenous strands, her hair is so long and it's because she basically always has her hair in twists. It's like your hair can't break if you're not doing nothing to it. No, not if you're not doing anything to it. Obviously, you have to keep it moisturized. But so in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I need to start, you know, putting my hair in protective styles more often. 
And even though I can't make as much styling videos as many styling videos, I can still make videos about how I retain length with twists or how I retain length with this, that, and the other. But I need to actually start seeing some length retention before I can start making those videos because yeah, but I figure I could do like a journey video and talk about like my mind shift with my hair and how I need to start like protecting it more and all that good stuff. So I just feel like social media is just, I had to take a break because it was like, I was constantly comparing myself to other women with like 4C hair who had like were having more views because after I blew up, obviously all good things come to an end. I like was barely getting any views. Like even now, like I, it's a lot for me to even hit like a thousand views, which I mean is fine. But I, I did get to 10,000 followers, which I am very thankful and grateful for. But I just wish I had more reach, you know? What's 10,000 followers if they're not, if they can't see your feed because the Instagram algorithm, like, doesn't push your feed to your followers. So right now I'm just applying the pre-shampoo to my hair and I'm just finger detangling. Obviously you guys saw that I did wet my hair a little bit, missed it a little bit. And I'm gonna put my hair probably on like some chunky twists. I was gonna do braids, but that's gonna take too long. But I'm gonna basically, I split my hair into four and then I'm probably gonna split it into two. And these twists are probably gonna fall out while I'm washing my hair, but it's better than nothing. So anyways, I did mini twist about four weeks ago and it's so funny because I wasn't planning on doing like mini twists or the size that I did. I was just planning on doing like, you know, small twists. So I wasn't like gonna do as tiny as I did. And for whatever reason, the Lord said, do mini twists. And my hands, literally I wasn't even thinking about it. My hands just started making them smaller and smaller until I was done and I was like, wow, these are like tiny. <laughs> Which I wasn't mad about because I know it'll last longer so and it did last four weeks i did wash them one time in between which did make them really frizzy but i still was able to wear them for like another week and a half or a week or two or something like that i love them i love how cute they are i'm going to be putting them back in today they take a very long time the first time they took me like seven plus hours but i'm hoping today i can get it down <clears throat> because i don't care about parts when it comes to this hairstyle like i could Care about parts but i don't because it would just take way too long so i just kind of split my hair into four sections which you guys will see later and then just twist up each section but yeah social media is just it's it's tough especially like instagram this is i got so hung up with like trying to get back all of those views that i used to have on instagram but i just basically like forgot about youtube like stopped making youtube content because i'm like oh instagram is where it's at because i was getting a lot of brand deals at that point in time and people were like always constantly reaching out to me and stuff, which is, you know, obviously that's how I make my money through social media. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna step back from YouTube for a little bit. I just focus on Instagram and then I crashed and fell and now I'm back on YouTube. I really do wanna start being more consistent on YouTube because YouTube is where I first started and it's where like I really first had my passion. Oh, be gentle, Brianna. I'm like trying to be so gentle with my hair. I'm also gonna dust my ends today because I have split ends. I don't know where I got split ends from. I don't remember ever having split ends. And when I say split ends, I mean like, you can take a piece of my hair, like a tiny, like just a strand of my hair and it'll be like split into two pieces. I've never had that before and I'm just, I don't know, my hair has just been going through a lot. So I'm giving her a break. And when I like did my mini twist, like how I didn't mean to do my mini twists, I feel like it was like a blessing because I kind of went through like a, I don't know, like when I was going through my social media break, I just didn't feel like touching my hair. I didn't feel like doing anything. Like I was really lazy during this time. So it was perfect that I had mini twists and it was like the Lord was like, you know what? You're not gonna feel like doing your hair for the next like two or three weeks. So we're gonna put it as a mini twist. And I'm just, I feel grateful for it. And I'm gonna put them back in mini twists cause just it made things so easy. Like I was actually able to like wear my twists down because shrinkage keeps my hair in regulations <laughs> and I just love it. So when it comes to my, like my length, like I always complain about this to my fiance about how I, my hair's not growing, my hair's not growing because his hair is like getting to my length. And like there are people that, that big chopped way after I did and their hair is longer than mine. Like for example, I follow Charmaine Joyo. Her hair is so much longer than my hair. She big chopped way after I did. And that's because again, she doesn't do too much to her hair. She keeps it in braids or twists or 
you know, keeps it out, but does like nothing to it. <laughs> Not nothing to it, like I'm sure she keeps it moisturized and stuff, but she doesn't do any of these styles. She doesn't do wash and goes often. She doesn't like, you know, blow out her hair often. As much as I love my rev air and I love keeping my hair stretched, um, I love these mini twists even more because I don't have to blow dry my hair before doing it. But yeah, she like, her hair is long and that's, those are my goals. Like, I hate that like hair length is like a goal of mine, but it just is because I've never had like long hair and I just want to experience it. Whether I get to that point and want to go back to having, you know, this length hair because my hair is extremely thick and it being long is probably going to be a lot to deal with too. But I just want to like show myself that I can grow my hair and it's not impossible because I've never had my hair be longer than this before. Like even when my hair was relaxed, it was about this length, you know, and I just want to get past that. And ignore the cut on my chin, y'all. I cut my, my chin last night by accident, <laughs> so just ignore it. But yeah, so that's where I'm at with my hair. What do you, how do you guys feel about it? Like about your hair? Like, do you feel like you retain more length when you're not doing much to your hair, when you're keeping it in twists? Ooh, look at how moisture, I love this stuff, y'all. And it stinks because this is like a season where I would normally like soak press my hair. Like I usually soak press my hair every year, but I think I'm gonna skip it this year because my hair, I don't think my hair should be going through that right now, especially with the split ends, man. But maybe next year, maybe next year.